Hey, if you're about to update your LinkedIn profile, you got to change one setting and you got to do it before you do anything else. So let's get into that right now. I'm going to show you exactly what I'm talking about in this video and why it is super important to turn this on before you do any change to your LinkedIn profile. Let's get into that right now. Hey, if you're new here, my name is Lowell Brown. I'm from Going Social. I run a digital marketing agency in Toronto, Canada, and I help small businesses with their digital marketing needs. And as I mentioned in this video, we're talking about LinkedIn. Now, LinkedIn is a great platform. I love to use it and I love to uh, update it periodically. And, and when I mean update, I mean, I'm talking about my profile. You know, you might be thinking that, hey, I haven't changed my profile in a while and I need to update the, the headline, I need to change a job post, I need to change my about, my profile. Um, all of these things are important to do and, and some people do them more frequently than others. Some people will you know do it fairly frequently and some people might do it maybe once every six months to a year or longer. But if you do a change on LinkedIn, what you may not realize is that any small change you do on your profile will actually be sent out as a notification to all of your contacts and connections. And there's cases when that's a good thing. Let's say you, you know, you get hired and you change jobs um, and, and you get a promotion at work. Those are really good things that you want your entire connections to know about. These are important things. And, you know, it can lead to new business. It can lead to a lot of, you know, reconnection with people because they'll, they'll congratulate you. Um, it's a good topic of conversation, but there are times when, you know, it's not so important for somebody to know that you changed your headline or that you've changed your profile or that you've added a skill set. So some of these changes can almost be noise in those updates. So I want to show you right now, we're going to go into screen sharing mode and I want to show you how to turn off this feature so that it doesn't send out a notification to your contacts. It's really simple to do, but in my opinion, it is super important. So let's get into that right now. We're going to screen sharing mode and I'll show you exactly how to do this. Let's do it right now. Okay, so we're here on LinkedIn. This is my uh, profile. And what we need to do when you wanna do any sort of a change like this is we gotta go into our settings. Now, where do you find the settings? If you come up to the top right of the screen here, you'll see your picture in a little icon and right below it, it says me. Just click on that and a little drop down will open up and then under account, you will see settings and privacy. And what you wanna do is click on that and that'll open up a new page. And what you need to do here is click on visibility on the left side. And once you've clicked on visibility and you're on this page, scroll down to the lower part of the page here. And you'll see here there's a section called share profile updates with your network. And what you want to do is click on that and you'll see by default it is on. And it says here, should we notify your network of key profile changes such as a new job, education, certificate, profile video, and work anniversaries? And what you want to do is you want to turn that off. Now you can go ahead and you can update your profile. So again, what this setting did was it turns off not sending out notifications, meaning that if you would change something on your profile, a headline, if you added a new job, now, sometimes that's where you do want to let people know about, but if you're changing, you know, skills and you're, you're maybe changing the, the details under one of your previous positions, um, you, you've added something else to the profile that will get sent out as a notification to all of your connections and contacts. So the majority of the time you should leave that off. It, it's just, you don't necessarily need to send out a profile, but if it's something like a new job or a promotion at work, I would go back follow the exact same settings, settings and turn it on. Then go onto your profile, adjust what you need to do, add that new job or, or you know, adjust the, the new title that you've gotten, the promotion. And then you can do that, post it, and then turn that back off again if you don't want other people to know that you're doing other edits to your profile. So that's it for this video. Another quick LinkedIn marketing update. If you liked this update and you want to see more updates like this, please do me a favor. I need two things from you and they're very simple to do. 
click like below. If you like this video, you found value in it, that's great. Leave me a comment below. Let me know that this was helpful for you, that this was informative, that you want more of these LinkedIn marketing tips. I love hearing from you guys. It helps motivate me to create more video content. And always, if you've got an idea of something, if there's you know, something that you need help with, leave a comment below because I also love getting your feedback here and it helps me to know what other content I should be creating next. Now, the next thing you did after you've liked and commented, I need you to subscribe. Why do you want to subscribe? Well, if you subscribe to my channel, when I create another video and post it, you'll get notified. You'll get notified first. And that's the most important thing. So click like, click subscribe, hit that bell notification, and you'll see more of me. Isn't that a good thing? <laughs> I hope it is. So that's it for this video. And again, if you are looking for more LinkedIn tips, I did recently created another video and I showed you how to create a customized URL on LinkedIn. Now you can find that video right here. It'll pop up on the screen. Now, what you may not know is when you first create your LinkedIn profile, you do get an ID number and it's actually, you know, a longer URL. And at the end of it, it's got all these numbers. Well, you can shorten that up. You can create a customized URL and that's helpful when you want to, let's say, put it in an email um, in, in an email signature, or you want to include it as a link on your website, or you want to give it to somebody when you're saying, Hey, follow me on LinkedIn, having a customized shortened URL is really helpful. And it's one of the basic things it's there. It's free. So why not do it? So check out that video again. You can find the link in the description as well. And I'll see you in that video. Thanks very much. And again, I hope you enjoyed this video and stay tuned. We got more coming up. Oh, it's this way. I always get it wrong. More videos coming up right after this. Stay tuned and I'll see you soon.